Uh, Matthew Linsdell is here. Uh, he's got a business called SmartFit. How long have you been doing that? Um, since 2008. Yeah? yeah? Where is it? It's in Blackburn Hamlet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I, was, I was in Vancouver before, so is that right? it's new in Blackburn Hamlet. Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of things do you do there? It's a small exercise studio. Yeah. Um, I got it in Blackburn Hamlet because it's a sort of cloistered suburb. Yeah. And the idea was to create a uh, sort of like a, a club for like-minded, healthy people. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so do one-month memberships and people show up and if they like it, they stay and yeah. become part of the club. How's it working out so far? Pretty good. It's, uh, it's attracting, you know, the odd person every week yeah. and it's growing into a, a bit of a real club now. As soon as you get the even people, you'll be fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, everybody, stop what you're doing. Because we're going to do some exercises, Matthew, that we can do right in front of the television. Yep. Right? Yep. So if, if you're doing, stop what you're doing. Come on. I'll do it if you do it. How about that? Some people think we can really see them, Matthew, but <laughs> we can't. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to start with a, a, a push-up. Yep. Right? Yep. You want to get the mats? Yeah. Okay. So just the one well, mat? You're, yeah, you're... I'll do the work. You're straight. <laughs> I don't mind. Can we do this sort of sideways? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, what, what are those so, things? Th these are, do you have bad wrists or are your wrists healthy? Or? Heck no, look at them, they're fantastic. Okay, so we won't use them. <laughs> <laughs> but they're designed to help you if you have a bad wrist. Yeah, if, if, when you're doing push-ups, if your hands are bent, uh, it can be really aggravating. But um, if you have sort of like a straight wrist, yeah. and the handles allow you to, to have a straight wrist when oh, you're doing gotcha, push-up. Gotcha. And oh. you can pick those up at fitness stores and stuff? Anywhere. Yeah, you, yeah. you can use a dumbbell, anything with yeah. a handle to grip. Yeah. Or you can do them on your knuckles. Right. Those are harder, eh? Knuckle push-ups? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit harder. <laughs> okay, so now you don't subscribe to the theory that uh, the more push-ups you do, the better. It's the technique, right? Yeah, it depends what you're after. If, you're, if you want to create um, what we call anaerobic strength, yeah. so the ability to do maybe a push-up with someone sitting on your back versus doing 100 push-ups. Yes. <laughs> doing 100 push-ups would be anaerobic endurance. Right. And then you'd want to move quickly through the push-ups as many as you could do. Right. But with anaerobic strength, yes. you really want to do the push-ups as slow as possible right. and focus on the lowering phase. Okay. Uh, we call it the eccentric phase. Okay. So I'll, I'll demonstrate it if okay. you want. Okay, I'll watch. So um, you get into a nice solid plank yes. sort of position. Your back should be flat. Okay. As though you're, if, if, you, if you put a tray of sushi on your back, it would stay solid and it, you don't want to waste sushi. Why did you so. pick sushi? Because it, it sits on a tray nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I like sushi we're too. We're living in Vancouver, so yeah, yeah, exactly. it's on the mind. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so sushi tray back and you want to count to four as you drop. So one, two, three, four. Gotcha. You can actually come up from your knees right. because we want to focus on the lowering for this exercise. Right. So if people can't push up from their, from their toes, they can drop to their knees and have an easy up and a slow hard down. Okay, so the, the, slow, the slow down part. Yes. What are the benefits of that? It, it, it damages the muscle more efficiently. So muscle damage, which is a controlled form of damage. Okay. Right? So. <laughs> Uh, it sounds, I understand what you're saying. It sounds nasty. You're ripping the muscle so it can rebuild itself bigger. In a sense, better, yeah. Str like the six million dollar man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got. Uh, we got thirty seconds to go, okay, so I better do it. a push up. Yep. Okay. So I'm here. So think about your back. Okay. Think about my my Ten sushi. Tense your stomach. So right. you want it to be really really tight. Is it flat? It's pretty flat. Yeah. Is it sushi, sushi flat though? Is it? And then so, slow slow. Four so seconds. how do I count? Uh, one, two, three. Four, ch not bad. This time, come all the way down and let your chest touch the pad, and then you can put your knees down. All the way down. All the way down. Okay, you're gonna be back later. We're gonna do some more. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Put your knees. Oh. Okay. Knees down and then push up. Just so, like that. So knees down to come up. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to push yourself back up. You don't need to push up. yourself back up. Can you if you want? You can if you're strong enough, but if you're new to this, yeah. definitely put your knees down, have an easy up, or do the whole thing from your knees until you, right. get, until you get strong enough. 